who is the RB2 in Dynasty? Theo Greminger likes the win now production of Christian McCaffrey, but there's some other options, Podfather. Yeah. It's, it's not Christian. Christian McCaffrey's going to be 28 next year. 28 year old running back. I understand that if you are in win now mode, like you want to win a championship, and Christian McCaffrey is the path to a championship, that makes perfect sense to me. The AJ Pecks for running backs is actually younger than 25 years old that's why we have the decimals sometimes we get mocked because oh you guys are you, you guys think you're so analytical putting a decimal next to the the age of these players do i really care if he's 24.3 or 24.9 ah yeah the difference between yeah. 24.0 and 24.9 is the age apex <laughs> for a running back the age apex is 24.5 and that's exactly how old Travis Etienne is. He didn't play as a rookie, so you could argue that he even, even is you know pre-apex based on usage. So Travis Etienne is an excellent choice. However, you have a player who is essentially Travis Etienne plus a more explosive, better receiving version of Travis Etienne, and that's Brees Hall. Coming off a torn ACL, I was told that it would take Brees Hall time to get ramped up. And all he's been doing is delivering breakaway runs, sharing a field and a backfield, and the, the touch distribution, especially in the first few weeks, with Dalvin Cook, where he was ceding the majority of the touches to Dalvin Cook early. And what has he done? He's you know, top of the league in breakaway runs. His breakaway run rate is close to 10%. His juke rate, evaded tackles per touch, is close to 30%. Both top five in the league. And because he's so phenomenal in the receiving game, his yards per touch, which factors in his carries and his receptions, 6.8, number two in the NFL. This was the thing I was monitoring. The advanced stats on Brees Hall was one of the things I was monitoring most closely this season, I was very interested to see how quickly this guy would get ramped up because that's a signal. It's a signal to how good he is because he's doing this, right? His production premium on player profile looks at every given down and distance and what this player is producing compared to other running backs at similar downs and distances on the football field. This is with Zach Wilson at quarterback. This is with an average to below average offensive line a plus 25.5 production premium, also top five in the league. So he has one of the worst supporting casts for scoring fantasy points. He's 22 years old. He's coming off a torn ACL and through six weeks has been one of the most efficient running backs in the league. This is like Christian McCaffrey, only six years younger. The only thing that he can't say that Christian McCaffrey can say is that I'm on a great team. And I'm going to be featured every week, and I'm going to score fantasy points regularly. You're never going to get a dud performance from me as long as I'm healthy. He can't say that in a way that Christian McCaffrey can say that. But he has six years on Christian McCaffrey. So the answer is Christian McCaffrey. Only in a world where I have McCaffrey and I am solely focused on winning this year, which is a lot of my leagues, right? So very happy to have McCaffrey, right? No reason to trade him. You wouldn't even trade him straight up for Brees Hall if a championship is on the line. But for all those other teams that are realizing they're not in contention this year, if they can't get B. John Robinson at running back, the target needs to be Brees Hall. The only issue I have is this year absolutely matters, and I do think he's got a cap ceiling. As good as he's looked the past two weeks, last year he averages 16 points per game, and I think that's about the ceiling based on the quality of the offense the fact that he's playing with Zach Wilson, even with him getting... He's averaging 24 efficiency. fantasy points a game the last two weeks. The last two weeks. I don't yeah. see it happening. I think it's 16. It's because he's I commanding he's the majority of the touches because he's completely relegated Dalvin Cook. He, A, was not as confident in his lower body in the first three weeks, and he was ceding a large percentage of the touches to Dalvin Cook. But what hasn't changed? He still has Zach Wilson as his quarterback. That's a huge handicap. To have Zach Wilson unable to matriculate the ball down the field, sustain drives, you're not going to score the touchdowns. They're going to give you that 30-plus point ceiling. Understood. But I think that these guys really deserve to be in the same, like both rank 2 and 2A, depending on the direction of your team. I think they're both worthy of the number 2 spot. 
So well, it's funny and, you say that, Alan, because one of the things that makes Player Profiler unique in our Dynasty Deluxe package is the player rankings have a strategy mode. And so when you go into neutral mode, there you can see who we have ranked number one. Is it McCaffrey? Is it Hall? You have to find out. If you go into rebuild mode, guess who it is? If you go into win now mode, guess who it is? So we I have guess. the mode for you. We are innovating. Yeah. This is one of the great innovations in all of Dynasty in 2023. We were sp responsible for it. That, that is definitely one of the things I like. It's not just so much. I'm always in win now mode. Even when I'm losing, I'm in win now mode. But I like to see how other people are thinking about it. So I definitely think that, that is... Uh, it, it, I'm glad you called attention to the strategy mode. That's something I haven't seen anywhere else.